we are only doing MOS. So today we will, we already have shown you one example of amplifier design and uh, uh, we'll do maybe hopefully two more examples along with you and then you will probably understand and uh, know enough of BJT, okay, uh, at this stage. As I was discussing in the lab today, there are a lot of other things also, you know. I showed you a common collector stage, you know, so we won't be able to have time to cover because we have to do some practice, that's why. <clears throat> so we, we do another example here, very similar, just a slightly change, you know, like uh, the way it is, it is changed in the, in the lab, you know. So we have another one here with a 10 volt supply. So this is 10 volt supply, you know, and then you have the resistance here. And then you have your transistor. Then in the in the emitter, what we'll do is that we'll just make a small modification in the emitter. We won't connect it directly to the ground. We connect it through a resistance and through a capacitor. So the capacitor is, as you know, very large. The only purpose of the capacitor is to be a short circuit for the AC and the open circuit for the DC. Okay. And then you will have another capacitor here which connects to your external load RL RC and you have 5K, 2K this is 5K this is 2K and then you have emitter resistance which is 1K And then you have to design your biasing resistance, appropriate biasing resistance, so that you operate the transistor in the forward active region. Okay. And you also have a 10 volt. I can show a 10 volt like this battery here, or I can take it up and connect directly here, you know, it doesn't really matter. You know. So if you have an examination where instead of providing a battery between here to here, I just take it up and connect over there is the same thing. So this is a resistor bias, okay? resistor bias. So we want to solve this problem now, okay? not just by myself, collectively, okay. Okay? so that you can uh, uh, learn better. Okay. So what do we do? The first thing we do, you know. So we need a beta, isn't it? Don't always never forget that you need a beta, and beta in this case is given to you to be 100. And in addition to beta, we also need, um, we also usually need, what is the voltage, you know, V, this tunnel voltage, V, VD or V, uh, VE, V, VE on is how much, which always we say approximately equal to 0 0.7 volts. Okay. So if your VPE on in the forward active region is given, something to slightly different, then you use that one. If it is given 0.71, then you use 0.71. Don't use 0.7, because as I discussed earlier, that this is not exactly 0.71. It can vary depending on the doping level. And uh, what else you need is the VT. Now, VT, as you know, is equal to 26 millivolt at room temperature. So this, if this is given, use this. If it's not given, then use this. It could be 25 millivolt also. Okay, it's uh, it's not uh, that different, you know. Uh, what uh, at uh, at say 25 degree centigrade or you consider 26 degree centigrade, just around 26 millivolt, 25 millivolt. Okay, so this is given. This is known. Beta is known. So now you have to solve the problem and what is the starting point load line and for load line what do you need the electrical you need what ic ic set and vv off vc off rather okay vc off 
So first of all, you have to find ICQ, ICQ, and VCEQ. Okay. So for this problem, what would you do in the first? And so as you said, you would try to find your load line. So now, what is this point? What is this point? Remember the DC will pass through all the way. You know. <coughs> And the first thing, easiest way to solve this kind of problem, as we discussed last time, is to first draw the DC equivalent circuit. So if you draw separate diagrams, then there's less confusion. Instead of trying to solve everything from the main diagram, you create different diagrams and solve it step by step. That way you, you will probably not make any mistake. So who can draw the DC equivalent circuit? Somebody who has never, never uh, done it before near the board, you know, who wants to do it, you know, just because you have to do it in the exam, you know, it's a good time to try to build your confidence. Who wants to do it? Who didn't come here before? And many of you didn't, you know. So if you, I think John has done it, you know. And uh, have you done it? You have done it? Yeah. You have done it? Yeah. So Rand has done it. Have you done it? The board? Have you done it on the board? Have you done it? Have you done it? Have you done it? <laughs> so first draw the DC equivalent circuit. No, no, no. Draw the DC equivalent circuit. So this is your DC equivalent circuit. Okay. So after you build your DC equivalent circuit, then so this is step one. Yeah? This is step one. You build your DC equivalent circuit. Once you have built your DC equivalent circuit, then you find your two extreme points on the uh, current versus voltage uh, card, okay. current versus voltage plot. So you have your IC here, your VC here. Okay. So the next question is, what is IC set? That means, what is the maximum current that will flow when you your transistor closed, you know, switched on? So you see here, like I was discussing in the lab, if you didn't have resistance here, the collector, the collector would have con connected directly to the supply voltage. In that case, this will never go to the saturation. Okay, That will become a common collector amplifier, which we were talking about in the lab. So this is a common emitter amplifier still. And this can go into saturation. Both junctions can go into saturation. Because you can have enough drop here to make this N lower than the peak here. So that will go into 
forward bias. So both junction forward bias means it will go into saturation. Okay. So if it can go into saturation, then that's that's going to give you this point on your uh, y-axis. So what is this point? So this is 5k. This is 1k. So what is this point? This extreme point when you have the device in saturation. So what is what is your IC set? IC set equal to what? Hmm? What by what? First tell me what is divided by what? In the top, of course, it will be a 10 volt. 10 volt divided by what? Ten volt divided by what? Rangi? Ten volt divided by what? Six hmm? K. Very good. Six K. It won't be just five K. Six K. You see, you have this plus this. When you when you turn the switch on, this is zero volts. But you have one here, another one here. Those both of them have to come in the picture. Okay. So this is divided by six. So this is how much? One point six seven milliampere. Okay. So one point six seven milliampere. So this is one point one point six seven milliampere. And what is this voltage here? This voltage is called V C E off. When the transistor is off, there is no current flowing. It is V C E off. And what is that voltage? Is it 10 volts? Okay, so it's 10 volts. So this is 10 volt. This is one. So you just draw a line. So approximately the middle point will be. So I C Q will be. ICQ will be equal to 1.67 divided by 2 milliampere and VCEQ you can take okay take equal to 10 divided by 2 equal to 5 volt. So this is equal to how much? 0 0.883. Correct? Question. Is um is it supposed to be VCE off or is it actually VCE on? Sorry, VCE off. So is this 0 0.883? Okay, so this is your 0 0.883. This is your ICQ. This is your VCEQ. Zero point eight. So that's your that's your ICQ zero point eight. Then how much is it? No, what is the next step? Is to go to the base, isn't it? Next step, you finish in the in the collector region. You finish in this region. Then you have to for the DC biasing, you have to design the value of your RB. You have to design the value of your RB. So how do you find RB? RB equal to what? You can do this for us. So what the best way to do is that not to write like this, right? To write the cutoff off voltage law all the way from the head. Write the KVL. 10, 10 volt equals 
What is the current flowing here? I see Q is flowing here. What is the current flowing here? IBQ. Okay, write down here IBQ. And show the direction. So let's say IBQ. So write the KVL from here all the way down. What is the voltage here? What is the voltage here? Because when you write the KVL, you need the voltage here. So what is the voltage drop across the resistance RE? This is the voltage. What is the current flowing here? Yeah. Uh, it's ICQ. ICQ. Okay, good. Yeah, so if ICQ is flowing here, what is the voltage here? No, ICQ is not what? Oh, ICQ is 8.8. ICQ is 0.83. So 0.83 into, write down here, the resistance. Put down here, VE. 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 I should have dot here. Let's see if you can see it. Write down here, VE equal to? VE is equal to 1K into, this is the resistance, multiplied by the current, isn't it? The voltage you multiply, current can multiply by the, yeah, yeah, current milliamp is fine, you know, current in milliamp multiplied by the resistance in kilo, yeah. yeah. Kilo and milliamp work together very well because the product will give you a voltage, you know. Okay, so this is equal to how many volts? One kilo, one kilo into 0.83 milliampere, how many volts? Kilo is 10 to the power 3. Milli is 10 to the power minus 3. So those will cancel? Yeah. Exactly. 0 0.83 volts. Very good. So you write down here 0 0.83 volts. So this voltage here is 0 0.83 volts. Okay. So now you solve this problem. You know this voltage. How much is this? Base and emitter, how much is this? <coughs> when you start on base emitter voltage, how much? Yeah. It's a diode, isn't it? The base emitter diode voltage is how much? When you turn on a diode, what is the voltage across the diode? Zero. If you have a diode, you turn it on. Yes. What is the voltage across the diode? Silicon diode. Oh, this is 0.7. 0.7, exactly. So this is 0.7. This is, this is N, P, N. So this is the P injection diode. So put 0.7 here. Plus, put plus here. Put minus here. So this voltage is 0 0.7. Okay? 0 0.7. Okay? Okay, good. So now this is 0 0.83, 0 0.7. This is 10. You can find an IBQ is how much? How much is IBQ? Write down here. How much is IBQ? IBQ equal to how much? Beta is 100. ICQ is 8.83. So how much is IBQ? What is the relation between IB and IC? Yeah, so now you have, a, it is better. So IB is this way. So if you want to write this way, put ICQ, which IBQ here. Okay, so if you know that, then how much is IBQ from there? <coughs> Very good. So now, how much is ICQ? 23. Yeah. Milliampere on the top. Yeah. So, how much is this? <laughs> How much? <laughs> you see, you have point 0.1, so you have 0 0.83, so you have 2. You have 100 here, and you have 1. If you put 1 here, you have 1 position, 2, 2 position. So, point zero zero eight minutes? 0 0.0083 milliampere. Very good. Okay, so you've solved that problem. So, you can find RB now very easily. You know the current flow here, you know this voltage minus this voltage is the voltage drop here. So that voltage divided by IBQ is RB. Okay, so do it now. Equal to 
Very good. So, how much is RB? Help him, please. Calculate it. What is the name again? Kyle. Eh? Kyle. Okay. So, please help Kyle. Very good, excellent. So you see, you can do everything. Right? So you feel better now? Yeah. But, <coughs> so this is 1060 kilo. 1016 kilo. It looks correct. Usually it's going to be some 800, 900, something like that. Okay. So that's the uh, biasing resistance value. Okay. That's the biasing resistance. Now, the, what is the, what is the next thing we do? While we do DC analysis, what is the next thing we do? Yeah, before that, what are you going to do? Yeah, but before that, what we will do? While we are here, what can we do? What is that we produce here, which we will be using in the AC analysis? GM. Anybody say GM? GM. So, next we have to find GM. Transconductor. Okay, and what is the GM equal to what? GM equal to what? So who is going to do the GM for us? <laughs> So this is milliampere, put milliampere so that the milli will cancel from top and bottom. You will have more, okay? How many more? 0 0.83 by 26, how much? Zero point zero three one. Zero point zero three two. Okay. Give it the give the uh, unit. Inverted ohm. No, no, inverted ohm. That's ohm. That's resistance. Inverted. Invert the ohm. Huh? Even out. See the easy. Okay, so we got our GM. So when you do your DC analysis, you find your bias resistance, you finish everything, and don't forget to calculate the GM before you complete your DC analysis because you're going to need it when you go to AC analysis, okay? So now you go to AC analysis. So who will draw the AC equivalent circuit?
एसी कॉलन सर्किट Even though I have given it this way, you can bring it down. Yeah, you can bring it down. <coughs> no, no, I didn't ask you to. I, I didn't ask you to draw the AC model immediately. I just want the AC to be I don't want this now. You can do it at least one step later. So this is the first step, second step, this is the third step. Just draw the, from this circuit, draw the AC equivalent circuit. Without the equivalent, without the AC model, just the circuit. Don't insert the model here. No, there, there won't be a resistance in the emitter because of this capacitor. So this capacitor is going to short circuit from here to ground. So AC will pass all the way through here. AC, for AC it's short circuit, AC won't pass through it. So you have this, why this is, this is ground here, so why is this resistance? Yeah, but there's no need to. It's better to keep it simple so that everybody understands what you're doing. Okay, so you draw your RC here. Draw your RC. Okay, ground and then ground that one on the top. Okay, and what is the RB? RB is not gone. RB is still connected to ground. RB. Yeah, you can you can you can continue here with RB. And connect to ground. Doesn't have to go there. Yeah, no problem. Go there. Too. But you have to make a dot to show the connection. Okay. Where will connect you? Show the dot. Okay. A dot over there. Hmm. So give it, give it, whatever it is, an R B R C R E. Okay. Very good. So. This is the AC equivalent circuit drawn by him. So you have RB, RC, it's all ground here. So this is ground, this is short circuit. Because of the short circuit, the resistance doesn't exist here. So and this is the AC input. So you can give it a name, V in. Of course, I'm showing it this way. You can also show it this way to make it look more friendly. And then you can bring it down and show down here also. Doesn't make any difference. So this circuit now is exactly same as what you have done on Monday. You know, there's no difference because of this shorting capacitor here. 
this resistance R e doesn't come to the picture. Okay. So now this one R c you have equal to five kilo ohm, five kilo ohm. Your R l equal to two kilo ohm, and your R b equal to one mega ohm. Okay. And your beta equal to still we assume beta a c equal to beta d c equal to hundred. So we can now insert the AC model and give us the final solution. Okay, insert the AC model here and give us the final solution. I see what we're doing. I see. Yeah, I see. There we go. So what you have to do is that you have to put the T model first. Okay, so you can draw the same thing like this. You can bring so what you can do is this is ground, you know. So you can bring this out in the ground in this way. This is ground, you can bring this ground here. All the grounds you can bring near the ground. See the ground is here, isn't it? So you bring all the grounds near the ground. Yeah. Then it but looks simple. And what you do, this ground, bring all the things to the ground near the ground. And then this one, just rem just replace the T model. Do you know the remember the T model? Rusty, so why don't you practice first, you know? Draw the T model here. T. You know how to T draw a T? Yeah. First draw the T. Okay, actually, yeah, actual T, no problem. Okay, good. So this is a good start. Then remove this from here. Remove, make a draw a resistance here. Yeah, draw a resistance. Here. Make it one upon GM. One divided by GM. <coughs> one divided by G. Very good. Then here, draw a current source. Okay, draw a line. Okay, so through a current source and draw a line to complete here. Call it IC. Small i because this was small so everything on this small i small c. Small i, small c, not not so small that nobody can see it. <laughs> small when I say small i small c, I mean lowercase. I don't mean very small. Lowercase. So this is equal to what? Beta i b? Beta i b small i small b. Yeah. Small c b. Lower case, lower case, everything lower case. It's all lower case. Because you're talking about small signal, everything lower case. Equal to GM VB, GM, GM, VB, V, V, small V, small V. Okay. So now this is your collector. Put C here. 
diesel collector, diesel base, base floor kit, right floor. All small things could be right easier. So this is your T model. So you first draw a T and then insert your component. Okay? Not an up switch. You have to finish this first. <laughs> <coughs> so now what all you have to do, I have told you everything, all you have to do is bring all the ground together, make a nice large diagram here, bring all the things ground to ground, 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 and replace this with this finish. Yeah, exactly. So, so I, I help you like this. Okay. So, this whole thing, this box, this box replaces this box. Bless you. Thank you. So, you need to make sure you have enough space up and down. In. Yeah, you you need to make them straight, all the lines. Yeah, use the use the eraser. Okay. So, if you if you have difficulty with the T model. You can first draw a T like him, and then put your components. No problem. But difficult to do on the examination because you don't do it on the board, you know. You don't want to do it on paper. So you can you can you can put all these values here. Yeah. Then ground exactly. Yeah. Ground. Then then what else is in ground? Just bring them all to ground. Okay. Give them the names. No, no, that's equal to over here. C, C equal to data ID equal to GMVB. M is a bit lower than the G. M is a bit lower. Okay. Then, then that bit is done. Then, then you bring all this both parallel to ground from here. Parallel to AC, parallel to here. So make it a bit longer so that you have enough space. So put both of them here. Ground, yeah. So all the grounds, all grounds must be near the ground. You see. So if you hang your ground on the top, that's still ground, you know. So you have to bring it down. <coughs> so RC, you should, you should ask this is RL. You see an L looking the same. So make it, give it the edge, you know. The C, you know, rounded. The C, you should come here. It's better. It doesn't really matter, but it's for the convenience of the students. Put the C here. Yeah. It doesn't really matter. Put the L. So that's done, this is done, then you only have this, this one up to ground. Okay, you be in. Okay, and then your resistance RB doesn't really matter, you just put one resistance here from here to ground. You can put anywhere, no, you put here. Yeah. Put one mega ohm to ground. Very good. So now you put the output here. So this is the output. The out. Okay, give signal symbol here plus minus. This is the this is the positive side of the out. This is the negative. Just put minus. Okay, done. What is the name again? Lance. Huh? Lance. Lance. Okay. Very good. Thank you. <coughs> So we have Lance. Where is Vance? There's somebody else called Vance here. Where is he? Vance, where is Vance? He's not here. Vance, who is Vance? You're Vance? You're Vance? Okay, then it's your turn, you know. 
<laughs> good bets, good bets. Good banter. So everybody understand this we did before is exactly the same thing. So Vax is going to give us the provide the voltage gain. So he you, you he provide us the voltage gain A V voltage gain equal to V out divided by V. So you do step by step. First thing is what is V out? V out, you can see your V out parallel of these two is a resistor. So you can you can simplify the circuit now. This mega ohm doesn't really matter as we said, it's too large, so you throw it out, combine these two, make another circuit. What is the resistance? You give it in short circuit. Yeah, okay. <laughs> looks like an inductor, you see? If you make it oily, you know, it looks <laughs> like an inductor. It must be sharp edges, you know. Yeah, that's the inductor. Yeah, this is the resistor. <laughs> okay. Then you have your uh, okay, that's good. Then you put your current source on the other side. Okay, then your the leg of the T. Yeah, you can put down here. Okay, one over GM. And then the other arm of your T. Which there's nothing. Source only. Yeah, exactly. Everything has to be gone. Okay, this is V. Okay, so it it's looks better now, easier now. So what is your V out? V out is IC. You put the values. IC will do beta IV, whatever you know. Put mark the IC. Mark the this IC. Small I, small C. Okay. Then what is your V out? IC is going in the opposite direction of your V out. So V out equal to minus IC into RCR, isn't it? Why are you putting down? Yeah, that's right. Voltage is current into resistance, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, very good. Then this is the out. What is the V in? So you have to write V in in terms of IC so they can cancel. So V in, how can you write V in in terms of IC? This same voltage, this voltage from here to here is V in, and that is the product of the current flowing here and one of the GM. The current flowing here is always the same as IC. Yes. Almost the same is same. You can put IC. This is IE, which is IB plus IC, but IB is very small. So this IC is almost the same current flowing here. So this current is approximately IC. So IC into one of the GM is the V in. So you can, that way you can write V in, in terms of IC into one of the GM. V in? No, no, no. You have to all work it, you know. Mm -hmm. Okay, equal to IC into one of the GM. Okay, good. So now you have got your IC, V in and V out. So you just fill it up. A B equal to what? The blue curve of the inverses. Okay, I 
see cancel yeah cancel i see from top and bottom then this is equal to minus minus i see parallel to rl into gm gm will come up because it's one upon gm in the bottom so multiply by gm okay put equal to sign everywhere put equal to here put equal to here okay so this is how much gm now you got your gm here gm equal to 1032 okay and then rc in parallel with rl is how much 5k parallel with 2k is how much 1.8 1.4k 1.4 okay so how much is it so how much is the gain About seventy minus forty-five point seven. You have to don't forget the negative sign. Okay, thank you. Okay, so that's your voltage gain. Yes. You can take out the RP. Yeah, because that's large. Yeah. This is one mega ohm. See, one mega ohm, and this is very small. So that's not, not going to stay here. No. So I've shown you. We have shown you two two examples. One with a resistance, okay, but it's shorted. And the other one with the, where, where there was no resistance in the emitter. And you can see there's small difference between them. Okay. So we will take 10 minutes break now. It's exactly 10 minutes before the end of the hour. So, and then we will do another example. And then that will be it for BJT. Thank you.